What up guys, it's Nick and Nick here, back again with another video, and yeah, I know it's been a- <coughs> Oh my god, my throat. I know it's been a long, long time since I made a video, and I'm gonna talk about that in another video, because uh, this will be too long if I have to explain on this video, but I'm gonna talk about my problem. What is your problem, Nick? Is it because you can't talk clearly because you have something stuck in your throat? Is it because of your receding hairline or uh, your impotent dick that can't produce sperm? It's actually none of those things right now. <laughs> it's actually my problem has been my webcam. For the for around a half year, my webcam hasn't really been able to function correctly. And I have actually not been able to find out what the issue was uh, at the very beginning. I thought it was because it was a yeah, defect, like it, it didn't work, like there was something wrong with it. And I was actually very close tomorrow going outside and buying myself a new web camera uh, on Black Friday because, you know, stuff is cheap or you can get something for cheap. But I found out it's actually <coughs> Windows <coughs> with me and it really grinds my gears. And I'm actually going to show it to you now because I think a lot of people have this issue and Actually, it's thank I'm so thankful for one comment on YouTube that actually for once actually helped solve everything. And I'm gonna show you right now what actually showed it showed or helped me so freaking much. So oh I'm gonna right over here. Let's go down here. Yes. As you can see, we are in settings, edit or windows, PC, and I'm in my privacy settings. And under my privacy settings, there are a few things here, like uh, location, camera, microphone, notification, account info, contact, blah, 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 blah. You gotta go into camera, and then you see, allow access to camera on this device. And, guys, this is actually very shocking. Windows 10 can actively block your camera, if you allow it to block your camera, or could be an update that has disabled it for you, camera access. So actually, I'm gonna show you to my show show you right now what actually was the issue here. Can you see see this? Allow apps to access your camera. And when I saw this, I was like, okay, apps. Uh, is it like I thought it was like these? I was talking down like about like Microsoft Edge, Microsoft Photos, Skype, whatever, you know. But it was disabled. I'm gonna show you right now what happens if I click right here. As you can see, my camera has now been frozen. And you know what, guys? This was actually my issue. It was on off. I'm gonna turn it on again, but because it does not turn directly on, I'm gonna go in and deactivate it and activate it again. There we go. As you can see, it solves everything. Like, my web camera function 100% of the time right now. It's f***ing awesome. It's f***ing... Mm. I actually think also this will f*** it up for you, but let's try. Yes, it also fucks it up for you. So, guys, if you have a problem with your webcam camera and you think, oh, my web camera must be defect, or it must be something wrong with it, or I must start reformatting my PC, then think again, guys. Do this. Do this. I beg you. I beg you guys, because this, this will probably solve everything. And I'm gonna say that comment has solved, like, my 100% issue with this web camera, because I love it. It's fucking one of the best web cameras I've ever owned. And I have, like, spent... I, I will go, maybe say, $100 on that particular one. Me Maybe even more. So, I'm actually <gasps> fucking happy that this actually solved every issue. But again, I am so pissed. I'm so pissed again, because I, I'm 100% certain there's been an update for Windows 10 that actually said, oh, do you want to have access to your camera? Do, do you want, do you want to have Windows 10 access to your camera? And I'm thinking, I don't want it to turn off, turn on and off again, like constantly, like no app should be allowed to do this because I think it's like spying on me or something. It's just, I think that's the reason why I disabled it at the first place. And then I just disabled it and my web camera hadn't been able to function correctly and the thing is I have like reinstalled installed drivers and then somehow it worked when I reinstalled it every time uh, for that particular occasion but it like every time I restarted my PC will fuck it up again but this has been working out perfectly I found out this very morning so I'm just gonna put it out there guys 
share this video with everybody you know because it's fucking man. like it it made me so happy because now it works and I have no problem anymore and I know it's not my web camera but it's also very dissatisfying if you went out bought a new web camera and it did not work still so man guys please like this video please share it with your friends who have like web camera problems please let me know if you still have issues because I have it should be the main only reason why your web camera doesn't work but this is God sent like that comment I will forever cherish that comment thank you for watching this video I will explain very soon where I have been off to and what's going on and where I'm living right now but uh, thank you again guys and I'll be back soon bye bye